I am Style. Adventures in pop culture is brought to you by StylingOnline.com. What's up, fans? It's KP. I am Styling at Sagwart Gift Suite with. Harvest China from Woo-hoo! Outsource. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? You know what? Uh, I'm doing great. Beautiful day in Hollywood. It's January. You know, people are throwing free stuff all over the place. I like free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got you in a style and t-shirt. Yes, I got a right? Cheers t-shirt because I have to NBC represent, you know, Thursday night. So that's for you, Ted Danson. Cheers. Right. Although I, uh, you did share with me that you got some comic love. I am. I was really eyeballing the Thor T-shirt. You know, I, they wanted me to be his double in the movie, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna let the Australian you know, Chris for, Hemsworth for, do it. So, and I am Indian, so uh, I could be a doctor, like Doctor Donald it, Blake. It really could. It really could. Uh, a, uh, we were talking about the promos for Outsource. I, I, I think before the show aired, yeah. you guys had a fan base. Yeah, because we also do have, like, it's such a, it's a great thing being, you know, a South Asian actor right. from Chicago. So a lot of, like, when I was younger, the, the shows that I would look forward to, like, I want to be a Cosby. I'm going to be pretty right, 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 right. you know? <laughs> so it's nice that right now, like, there are a lot of kids looking forward to the show, you know, India of Indian origin, right. Pakistani origin. So we are speaking a lot of those kids, children of immigrants, but like all over. I mean, we wouldn't be on uh, Thursday night NBC if it wasn't for like a broad audience. And so a lot of like kids come up to us everywhere we go and they just love the fact that it's an accessible, kind of a family show with a little bit of edge. I mean, we are at 10.30 p.m. now, so we do have to sneak in a little sex everywhere we can. You know, I, I was wondering, could, could they have done this show 20 years ago? You know, I don't think so. And honestly, I mean, I think that just shows like how much we are, we keep progressing. And in 20 years from now, I don't think it'll even be an issue. It's never going to be like, that's the South Asian show. That's this, uh, you know, the European immigrant show. We're just right. going to be peeps. Well, because I think, you know, you, you referenced the Cosby show. And, and in the day, that was breaking new ground. Huge. Because, you know, for, for faults and all, you know, it, it, our culture still had challenges, yeah. right? And we'll continue to have challenges. Always. But we're able to start to kind of poke fun or really speak to those issues, the stereotypes, obviously. Yeah. Right? And, Comedy and it, is rooted in stereotypes. Right, and, and, and once you get there. past that, it isn't, isn't that the big barrier? Yeah. When you get past all those stereotypes is when you can be like, oh, we are alike, and this is just what the little things we do different. Right. You like your food spicier, then we like it creamy, you know? Right. And once you get past all that, it's just like, it shows how similar we are. And it's just all relationships after that. You know, the shy girl is going to like the loud guy. Right. So I don't know if that's a scoop or anything about our show. Yeah, so well, I, was, I was getting to the scoop part, right? So <laughs> so uh, a- anything that you can share with your fans, a little bit of what they can look forward to? Yeah. We do have um, a couple of big, big episodes coming up. Um, we finally do get out of the call center, too. There's a nice, nice leave, go on location. Yeah, right, right. We might be ending up at a beach, actually. We might be doing a little beach action, and we are definitely going on a train. So we did build a huge Mumbai, Bombay uh, train station and platform and trains. So that's going to be exciting because, it, you know, when they mix the green screen, right, right. the India stuff, and then us in our studio here in Los Angeles, right. how it all comes together is going to be awesome. Who are you a fan of? When you're not on the set, when you're not on working? You know, honestly, we there's like a lot of inspiration and cross-pollination between The Office and our show. Like the inspiration, the single camera comedies, right. Thursday night. I got my Hulu, my Hulu Plus right, on right. my iPad, and I'm just watching The Office rerun. Season three, season five, we'll just pick up anything, and we just do watch. Because you'll have like those 10, 20 minutes in between, right. and that's how we get to see it. You going to the show? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You got I, good seats? No. <laughs> that's how Not you know how all. well you're doing. I, right, right, right. It's where you sit. You're invited, but you're in the back. I might have to like serve a few tables. Well, at least you didn't have to buy your own tickets. That's true. It was really good to, uh, good, good to know you. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, KP. All right, you know, check for him out on, on the Outsource. Watch for him on the red carpet. Uh-huh. He is styling. I do my best. <laughs> and thanks to the shirt, and I'm going to be even more so. More to come from the Sag Awards gift suite. I'm KP. I'm styling. Ooh. Ooh. Perfect timing. If, uh, do you need yeah. to get yours? Stylingonline.com. We lost our lights. We got it, though. From a distance, you know, uh, we, we were checking a little bit. You know, we saw that cut coming See, through See, look there. at that, you know. Yeah. That little V kind of resonates right really a little bit, right? Add a little gun. Yeah, you f- it. Yeah, yeah. Because it looks like to be a blast. Right? It is a fun. It's Dude, like I a saw, fun I saw, I, saw, I saw your promos. I'm so pissed in my pants. Yeah. Right? Yeah, right? <laughs> Star Galactica. Batman. <laughs> Serenity. Boba Fett. Uh, Highlander. The Empire Strikes Back. Doctor Who. 
Star Trek The Next Generation was my favorite. Scooby-Doo. Well, at the moment, it would be True Blood. True Blood. True Blood. I have to say True Blood. She-Ra. Doctor Who. Star Wars, Episode 4. Firefly, without a doubt. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Joker, obviously. Family Guy. <laughs> Good choice.